special shout out to my amazing members and patrons. Dan Medina, Matthew Hall, Lucky Charms, Rick Hemingway, Charlene Kelly, Iron Beast, Madlow, Yumi, Harrington, Justin Rice, Killer Bunny 264, Mephisto, MDS 84ZA, The Hal Razor, Conet 76, Blalco, Jelly Beams, UK's Reaper, Krebian, Zareel, Furious Ramsey, and Nathan V for your amazing support. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Rebirth Mod. So last episode, we just really looted this place because I needed some... Cement. I just realized there's some, some more cement at the back of here. We need cement because we ran out of it. We have stone, we have sand, we just don't have the cement. Um, also need to be careful because, uh, yeah, it's almost night time. Handy woman traders in a close now, man. Unfortunately, I didn't realize that I already unlocked her, otherwise I would have gone straight towards her. Let's see, let's see, where is she again? I think she's over there, so I need to turn around. Yeah, before I even get there, she's, uh, she's gonna close down, unfortunately, because the traders close at 10. I wanna see, because apparently you can get a ratchet from her. So if I can unlock that ratchet, I'll be able to finally go and repair the buggy and use the buggy. But it seems like I'm gonna have to come back in the morning though, because, yep, she's gonna close. I've got a bad feeling. You be about careful this. because there might be some other zombies over here. There's, uh, the traders only close at 10, right? Not before then. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Close that door. Hello, hello, hello. Is the name Greta? Okay. Please tell me you have a- Oh, you don't have a ratchet. You're selling a ton of uh, resources though. How much does this cost? No sell price, but I can definitely afford it with how much cash I have. Damn. Okay, you reached day 37. I'm gonna have to come back here then. Hopefully tomorrow's day 37. <laughs> because then when she unlocks- Oh, she has fuel, cobble. This is gonna be awesome. If she just has that ratchet, we'll be able to get awesome stuff. Um, should probably see if I can't do a quest for her as well. Oh, where's your quest? I could have sworn there's supposed to be a quest that you have to do for her to unlock more stuff, like with Briston and the Farmer Trader. They each gave you a quest that you have to do, but for some reason she's not giving it to me. Really grabbing, 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 grabbing. It's gonna close soon. It's probably gonna TP me outside and then I'm gonna be encumbered, so I need to be careful. Can't scrap stuff, Jean. You can scrap some stuff, but not all stuff. You oh, this trader is. You can't break this trade uh, stuff with the trader, right? Oh, what is this? A workbench, and then down below. Oh, damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Now I'm encumbered. Oh, if I get too close, I keep getting teleported. What the hell? No! 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 I keep accidentally clipping a, a POI, and then I get teleported. I'm hoping I can actually uh, grab my motorcycle over here. Otherwise, we have a problem right now. The zombie's right behind me, but I need to go as wide as possible to not get teleported again. No! I'm gonna have to go... Yes, let's backspace quickly. I just dropped my backpack so a little bit faster at least. I need to grab my vehicle, but I can't grab my vehicle because every time I do... Okay, there you go. There you go. Thank you. I wonder if I drive over it, will it pick it up or do I need to climb off my bike? Let's see. Nope, you have to climb off. Usually you can just walk over it, but it seems because I, uh, I jumped off on top of it, I had to actually open it up my own. But yes, okay, now guys, it is day 36. Yes! That means next time is day 37. Awesome. So last episode, we came to the desert over here because we needed to farm a ton of fire immune zombies. We had to kill a hundred of these ones in front, this one. These zombies, for those who don't know, they just have to smack you and they can set you alight. You have to be careful. Or they have to just be close to you, like the shock zombies. But yeah, we killed, uh, we made sure that we can kill 100 of them. I think we just killed like 30 or something. We already had some of them unlocked. And uh, that meant we can now unlock this Greta or whatever her name is. And apparently, according to Ramsey, you can go and buy the ratchet uh, from her. So since she resets day 37, we're going to go back there. Although, I'm guessing I'm going to have to quickly go do some uh, quests in the snow biome. Because we need cash. If she sells the ratchet, we're going to need cash. The moment we have that ratchet, we'll be able to go and My senses have picked up something. just uh, repair the buggy. Although, I'm actually kind of worried that the buggy might have gotten some damage. Because the buggy was by... Is this Briston? Um, the buggy was actually by... The Horde base, or very close to the Horde base. So if the zombies from the Horde... Uh, and also after the Horde, I ran away from there towards the buggy. I'm really hoping they didn't destroy that thing, because if you can repair the buggy, apparently there's way more st space in the motorcycle. So we'll finally be able to loot more without having to worry about, oh no, I'm full, let's go back to the base. Also, I need to remember we actually have a drone. Yeah, it's following us. 
We have the drone as well, so I should probably make sure we drop stuff on the drone as well. Hello, bear. As these animals in uh, in this mod see you or sense you from far away. I was just super close to it, that's why it saw me, but I could be even further away from it and it will sense me and start charging. So be very, very careful. Uh, their normal movement speed is already far, so you don't want to, uh, them to catch you. Okay, I need to get to the back. Don't want to get stuck on anything. Please, 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 please. I'm hoping an event or something doesn't trigger as soon as I start dropping stuff at the base. The nice thing with this mod is you just climb off your vehicle, you press the button and everything pops into your inventory, into your boxes. So it's way less struggle for you to climb off your bike. Imagine something attacks right now. Now you have to carry everything upstairs. But if you do this, just press these buttons twice, boom, in the boxes they go. And now we have a proper shock and I'll be able to use it um, instead of the sword off. The sword off only had two shots. This thing has... Nine shots! Ooh, that's good! But it only has two mod slots, unfortunately. Okay, so we need some honey quickly. Uh, and we also got some corn, so we can turn that into... Some cornmeal over here. Drop that. Make some more gunpowder at the back. Okay, but yeah, now that we have a proper shotgun, that's gonna help us. But I do need to actually quickly heal myself. Do I not have honey? I have I this, but I don't want to use this right now. This. Yields 10% infection, we are 4% infected. I should be able to make myself some honey from honeycomb, right? Or can you not? If you have honeycomb on you. Uh, no, why'd I do that? Zombie putty, beeswax. Huh. Oh, it does. Oh, the honeycomb just like this heals you. Cure infection 5%. Nice. I did not know that. Is that a wandering horde underneath? That's a lot of footsteps underneath us. No, okay, it doesn't seem to have been a wandering horde. Is it? And they might just break this pillar over here, but I need to take at least this one down. If that one's down, we can actually move around down there. See, now the problem is, uh, as you can see, most of them are fire immune, so I can't even use a Molotov. If I use a Molotov right now, it's not going to do a thing. Oh, okay, yeah, you can climb ladders, I forgot. See, sometimes I wonder what counts as their heads. Because uh, some of these guys are shoot at like the, uh, the back or something and they take a serious amount of damage. Almost like you did a headshot to them. My lady, where are you? Hello, 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 just get away from my bike, please. No, 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 no. This isn't by the base, I don't mind. Ooh, 762 ammo, nice. Since I'm by the base, I don't mind looting them. Incoming Damn. Prepare for but usually I just leave them now because they just... I don't need that much cloth. We have stacks and stacks and stacks of cloth at the moment. Technically, I should have kept the one. That one had black dye on it. Okay, so now we can keep this gun and we have to make sure we have some 762 and some shotgun ammo on us. Um, I wonder if we even need the crossbow. Yeah, we might want to stealth the uh, POI. This one, we can actually put on this. Some mods as well. Although technically I should probably put on my shotgun, we're more likely to use the shotgun in a scenario where we need to take the radiation off, right? Because the bow, uh, we might get a radiated sleeper, but it's not going to be as bad as like a radiated zombie just charging at you. Okay, high grade magazine part. Um, I wonder what you need to actually be able to make this gun. All high quality? Oh, okay. High quality and the medium, medium. We actually have this. We can make the HK416. I don't know whether this counts as a machine gun, though. I want something that's better than the M60. But all of these are still locked, unfortunately. Behind what are they locked, though? Tier 4 assault rifles. Oh, this way we can actually see. Wait, 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 wait. Machine gun. G36 C Mac. So at tier 4 machine gun, we're only tier 1 or level 1 at the moment. But it shows you over here where you can unlock this. So this, uh, now if you want to, oh, what's going to count as a machine gun? I need to get my machine gun skills up. You can just come check over here. That's a shotgun. That's a sub-machine gun. It has to be a machine gun. Sniper rifle. This is an explosive ranged weapon. Oh, minigun. Uh, that's a sniper rifle. This one over here we said is a machine gun. So now we know if we can just check over here. That's a tactical assault. That's a tactical. So there's no point in making those. Although if you make them, I'm kind of curious to see how much they sell for. We have a ton of parts and stuff. So let's try that. I'm going to make it over here. 
uh, this one and see how much it sells for. Because we have enough, more than enough parts. So if we can make a ton of stuff that can sell for a lot, that will solve our worries, our issues about cash and stuff. Then we can send the NPCs to go mining and we can go and just do what we want to do. Okay, you guys have come back. Show me your inventory, please. So you went for nitrate. Please tell me I sent you for coal. No. No. Okay, I knew... I, 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 earlier when I sent them, I sent him for coal and her for nitrate. And then when I sent them again, I sent her first. I thought I sent uh, her for coal. Damn. Okay, so next we need coal, but we don't have that much stuff. We have a ton of oil shells, so I should probably see if I can't make myself some more of that. And then I'm going to make more cobble. We could easily buy more cobble, but at the moment I think that's the best uh, use of it. Fuse, I should probably eat and drink this because it's going to give me food and water, although very minimum. I can actually eat this. Put that one over there. And then drink the boiled water. But to drink boiled water, you have to get the vitamins first. At least we have 20-something vitamins, so we don't have to worry about, oh no, it's going to waste a vitamin to drink water. Unfortunately, we get dysentery if we don't do that, so it's definitely worth it. Okay, um, you can make us some gas. 3 minutes 27. Boom. Oh, 8,000 gas. Nice. We are not gonna... Guys, now that we finally starting to get stuff right, it's so much easier. <laughs> In the beginning, it's really hard to get stuff done, but now it's getting so much easier. Okay, so we need cornmeal. Uh, I think we need... Wait, what else did we need? No, that's ears of corn. We need the chicken coop. Okay, uh, gather chickens. That's in the food box. One, two, three. You have been giving the recipe for the chicken coop. Once you've uh, captured yourself a few chickens, create an enclosure and place one uh, coop per chicken and a feed bucket. Don't put them far away from the chickens, 10 blocks max, or they won't consistently lay the eggs. Uh, chickens will eat cornmeal. If you put so don't put some in the feed bucket, your chickens will slowly starve to death. Uh, you must always put a number of sticks in this bucket in order for the chickens to build their nest and start laying eggs. Chickens will lay up to three eggs and give you some feathers. The first egg will take approximately 60 minutes. If you wait for more, the process will be a little bit faster with two eggs 45 minutes after the first one and three eggs and some feathers 30 minutes after the second eggs. So if you, the longer you wait to actually get it, the more you get out of it, basically. Good to know. So, chicken coop schematic. Now we can make the chicken coop. I think let's work a little bit on our base over here. At the moment, we don't, we don't know where to put our stuff. So if I go and grab all the cobble... And just make ourselves, because this is very small. Um, I also want to make sure that we have this whole uh, place just cobble. And then we have to grab some safes when we go loot POIs. At the moment, I keep forgetting to grab safes every time I go loot stuff. And at this stage, a, a zombie will vomit at our walls. And even though our walls are uh, cobble, they can't set a light, the fire will go through the wall and hit the boxes. So if we lose all our loot, I'm hoping that if a box breaks from, uh, from it, it'll actually drop it uh, on the floor. Because I don't think those bags get destroyed, but you never know. If you're unlucky, you might actually end up losing everything. I'd rather not take the chance. I'd rather make sure that we um, have some steel containers, or we can just make our walls thicker. If this wall is over here and we put an armor piece around the wall, uh, with some space in between it, then it should not hit the loot on the inside. So if you go now on the outside of this, make yourself a plate, but I'm not going to be using this block because it's too expensive. Make yourself just a normal plate. Go in advanced rotation. You place this on the outside. So there's a gap. So basically this will be the wall. A gap and then the armor piece. That way the fire should not spread through. Um, and there's always a, uh, that freak chance of the, uh, the zombies being able to do it. But as long as you have that up guys. The fire will not reach your loot. That way you don't have to worry about having all that steel loot. And uh, safes and stuff. I mean the safes make so much noise when you open them. It's not always worth it. It's worth it because they have space and um, they are fire resistant. I should actually go check. Next time I loot a safe, how much space is in the safe and how much in the storage? If the safe is more, uh, and storage-wise, then I'll use it just because they are storage-wise, not because it's fire immune. Okay, so I have upgraded all the walls. I moved most of the workstations down here. For some reason, if I put this one over here, it doesn't want to. But if I put singular ones here, it does. It's like a red for some reason. Uh, chem station, all that stuff's down here. Um, I just need to go now and put all of this away. And then we're going to see this sells for 500. Not bad. 500 gun. You can actually make a few of these. I can even make a spare for Horde Knight just in case we need a gun to help us. Even though it's not an M60, it will actually really help us with some damage. 
Well, now that, now that we have the M60, we can actually get more done. Also, um, I thought it might be possible to burn down the a base over here. I, I might have been able to if I made some storages over there and it kept all the workstations on me. Oh, okay. Clean up. There you go. Uh, if I put the workstations over here, oh, no, the, the loot over here, and kept the workstations on me, I could throw a Molotov and burn that wood down so it's easier to work over here. Um, but now I'm going to have to go just cave it in on my own, and that's going to take so much time. I still need to move this over. Oh, it's done with the gunpowder. Nice. I was going to say, I need to move this over, but I'm still busy with the gunpowder. And then I still need to go and move over the cement mix over here. But unfortunately, this thing is still busy. I'm going to leave that to just its own devices. But you have to start moving the loot down as well. Um, I'm going to cave this floor. I'm going to drop over here. And over here, and let the floor, uh, floor cave in, and then all that's going to be over here. The stairs, there's, there's no need for stairs right now, so I'll have to break that out as well. I want to have this all on the bottom level. Technically, I want to have... Hmm, I should probably make, make like a, a lift it off the ground with a block and then place it on top. That, that way, if there's a fire zombie downstairs or there's an explosion, you don't have to worry about your stuff getting set alight. There is still always a chance that no matter what you do, they will get set alight, but I mean, there's only so much you can do. I, we've prevented the most of it. Okay, that goes inside either this one or the toolbox. We'll put it inside this one for now. Okay, let me just quickly put uh, everything away. We're also going to go visit the Greta over there. And then as soon as we've uh, we've actually bought perhaps, please tell me she has a ratchet. If we reset it's day 37, it's day 37. And as soon as we've been there, we're going to go down and do some fetch quests over here and get some cash. And then we might be able to buy some more books from Briston as well. I was going to see, uh, all of them have given me quests to do except Greta. I've done the, uh, the quest for the farmer, but Greta hasn't given me any quests uh, like Briston and them have gone for me as well. So I wonder if I should just first do a few things before that actually happens as well. Quests, iron farm. Okay, now we need to get ears of corn, mushroom, blueberries. Uh, do we have these things? Does not seem like it. Especially the other corn. Blueberries, we definitely... Okay, let me just quickly do this so we can see what we need. We activate it. Okay, I'm just going to sort that. We need ears of corn. We don't have that. Yucca fruit. I could just go to the, the um, desert and quickly grab some more of that. Mushrooms. Nope. As far as I can see. Uh, potatoes. Nope. How do I not have any potatoes? Blueberries, we have that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... I could have sworn we had pumpkins and stuff as well. Where did I put all of this stuff? Did I seriously not have any of this stuff? That is bad. So I need all of the ingredients over here. I only have the blueberries. I need to make this iron oven so I can actually start getting my base in order as well. Now this gun over here, the HK uh, something, we can actually make more of this one. So we're going to go to the workbench. Go to guns. Compound bow we can make as well. Double barrel. Skull. I want to see which one sells more. This one or the other one? But both of these, this is a submachine gun, this is an AK, so it does not count towards our class. Ooh, assault rifle. I want to see which one sells the most. I do want to save some parts so I can make my own high quality one. But we need uh, level 4 machine guns and we're barely at level 2. As soon as we get to level 2, we'll be able to make ourselves a an M60. I'm going to see something quickly. Go to there, go to there. Yeah, I can craft the M60, can craft laser sight mod. And craft the G36. That's the one I actually want to make. But that's level 4. But as soon as we... Guys, now that I have an M60, I'm going to go do more shots with it. The only problem is we're running out of ammo. Although... Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> nice. Oh, can you make ammo in this one as well? My senses have picked Damn. up something. Oh, no. Oh, why did I jump off? Why did I... I'm going to die. That was so dumb, that was so dumb, that was so dumb, Jean! Oh crap. I heard footsteps, but I didn't pay attention to what it was. I don't have my bike on me now. I need to try and run away. It's gonna shoot me, shoot me, shoot me, shoot me the whole time. I'm busy making 7.62 ammo, I can't do anything with- Oh, stamina. Ooh, stamina, and there's also that Death's Whisper just now is an event that spawned in. I heard footsteps, but I couldn't figure out what the hell the noise was. Oh, crap, 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 crap. We could just hide behind this tree and shoot them as they come for us. But it's not like we have a sniper rifle or anything. It seems only the zombie leader actually has a gun. Or the bandit leader, I mean. These bandits are only melee. Dude, leave me alone. I'm busy over here.
It seems uh, body shots don't really... It's supposed to be body shots because they're not zombies. But body shots don't really work on these dudes. I need to be careful. The leader has a gun. He can shoot me. I just have to hide behind a car or vehicle like last time. You know what? Uh, don't ragdoll me. I need to quickly melee these guys. When I heard the footsteps, I, I, I knew it was too fast to be zombies. Unless it was like a massive wandering horde of ferals. It was too fast to be zombies. But at the same time, I didn't click. It might be bandits. I need to find a bandit with a gun now and shoot him from a distance. But my M60 now is out of ammo. So, um... No, we have 100 something shots left. Nice. The problem is we need to hide from the bandit as we're shooting. They can actually go inside the trader, but we can also use the trader as like a way to hide from them. No, not again, not again. Hello? Oh, there's a shocker. Oh, that's a second one now as well, isn't it? We had a Death's Whisper right after the bandits attack. The bandits don't make Death's Whisper. So this is a second boss now. We have shotgun ammo on us, just five. I want to see how OP this is. You can actually see the zombies at the back for that. I need to be careful of the bandit though. I'm saving my 7.62 ammo for that one. Grab stamina. I'm gonna have to use this gun, aren't I? I really wanted to save this ammo for the bandits. I can still though. There's lag, so much lag. Headshots, come on. There's a lot of stats right now, so there's two um, event groups. Oh, that spider's gonna rag on me, I need to be careful. There's two event groups right now. Oh no, 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 please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Oof. Oof. When he stuns you, he keeps hitting you, and my HP was already super low. Damn, I am so lucky right now. Oh, which one's more powerful, this one or this one? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to think how I'm going to take those bandits down. There is another event at the base. It wasn't just this one boss that we just killed. These shocker friends are still there. And then there's also the bandits that we have to kill. The bandit leader has a gun. But the, the nice thing is the bandit leaders drop some really good loot sometimes. So if I could just go get that. I swear, if they're busy ransacking my base right now, that's going to suck. Ooh, gyrocopter schematic. Nice. Okay, uh, this gun needs repairs. Do we have repair kits? Yes, we do. Nice, nice, nice. Look, but yeah, that just now was a little bit too close for comfort, I have to say. Just a little bit. These guys are bandits with gun, uh, with uh, melee. As long as it's not the one with the gun, we can actually deal with them quickly. Headshots. The one with the gun drops loot when he dies. So I'm looking for him right now, but I'm not seeing him. And we can't reload. There's a lost... Uh, that was a lost ammo just now. My senses have picked up something. Be careful. Don't let it touch you. It shocks you. We don't even have the horde base to fall back to. See, there's a zombie leader over there. Oh, bandit. Oh, that's a bandit boss. What's it doing on the roof? I'm guessing that's the one with the gun. As long as it doesn't fall down here, I should be safe. Yep, I need to kill this one first. Nice. Okay, now I have to kill that uh, zombie leader, uh, bandit leader. Do I have a Molotov? No, I dropped all my Molotovs. But he looks like he only has melee. The bandit boss will definitely have some... Crap. Nope, 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 nope. Come over here. I definitely shot from that. Just Oh, the bandit leader is bugging. The bandit leader is flying. I just met Jesus, guys. I just met Jesus. Oops, where is he? Wait, is this the, no, this isn't the leader. How is the leader flying like that? I think he's bugged out. Oh crap, I'm out of ammo. Let's 
It seems we can kill him because he's bugged out at the moment. I think he's uh, still stuck by my base. But because he's flying like that now, it's giving us a chance to quickly kill him. If only I had more ammo. But for some reason, I don't have my Molotovs on me. Did I use up all my Molotovs during Horde Night? There's still uh, Shocker Zombies all over as well, so I need to be careful of that. His HP is going down. Just please tell me when, I, when he dies, I actually get his loot. You can see there's Shocker Zombies inside the Trader Grounds as well. Unless I'm seeing straight through the Trader Grounds on the other side. I'm so glad I didn't drop this gun. Um, I think that was either at the beginning of this episode or last episode. I even asked, is there a point? No! Incoming no! Enemies, for That's unfair. That's unfair. That's unfair. I asked whether there was a point in keeping this gun on us, and now, yeah, now I'm glad I have this uh, weapon on us. Nice. And hit him. Yeah, that boss, uh, yeah, it must have been Jesus' brother. But... Oh, nice. Dexterity as well. Okay, we have to be careful now, because there's no more Molotovs. There's still a ton of shocking zombies, and there might be still uh, some more bandits left. Huh. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Bandits can open up doors. We don't have ammo. I might actually just have to quickly go back in and see if I can't grab some shotgun ammo. Can't loot the bandits, unfortunately. Well, they're able to break the trick. Oh, there's another zombie boss. A uh, bandit boss. Wait, are those my bandits or was that... No, no, that was not my bandits. I need ammo. Damn, this sucks. I should be able to get to safety quickly. If I can activate my NPCs to help me over here. Follow me. Follow me. Resume. Resume. Go shoot them. There you go. Hunting. Hunting. Go hunt them down, man. Uh, ammo. I need some ammo. I need some ammo. Dark and ammo? Hopefully they don't die from the... Why are you guys not attacking? Uh, I need some ammo here. 762. I've been making a ton, right? Yes. Where's my Molotovs, though? Now, where's that extra bandit leader? The first one was Jesus. I wonder if they killed him just now from with all the uh, lightning. What the hell? Um, for some reason my NPCs. Oh, patrol. Oh, resume. They're not attacking. I'm gonna have to run away, but I don't know. Uh, let's see if my Panthers will do the thing. Yeah, go hunt. Go hunt, boys. Go hunt. I want to jump out, but just now the, uh, the bandit leader is still down there. Ooh, annihilated you. Okay, that was a boss. Oh, I couldn't get loot from him just now. That sucked. I need to help my NPCs out by shooting some zombies. Headshots, headshots, headshots. It seems only the one zombie leader was lootable though, that sucks. I was really actually hoping we'd get some loot from him too. I'm getting shocked over here, please, please, please. Okay. Hunting for control. Full control? Halt. Halt. So now they're not gonna attack. Okay, um, you guys are looking horrible right now. Damn, I can't believe that bandit leader just now. First... No! The streamer just streamed. Oh, crap. Oh, there's two of these. Resume. Okay! 
Can you give them healing and stuff? Uh, it seemed the screamer screamed earlier, but I don't know. I don't see any zombies right now. I need to make this... Oh, this place is going to cave in. I need to make it concrete as soon as possible. The amount of zombies that get underneath over here and do some damage to blocks is just nuts. Okay, so... I need to get it back upstairs again with you guys. Whew. Guys, I am really... Uh, I'm, I'm breathing a sigh of relief, but at the same time... Mm, that was close. I had to make sure my vehicle's always in position that I can just jump away, grab it and go. The fact that I ran the opposite way of my bike, I, I, I didn't... I remember that, I was like, what? Huh? I keep forgetting this thing makes that noise. I am so lucky, 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 lucky. Recipes, dexterity. Do that. I want to test how much these sell for. Which one sells for the most? So this one is 531. Ooh, Skarl. We have to make more Skarls. Uh, do you have enough resources to actually make more? Oh, we can actually scrap that on us. Scar, 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 Scar. Where's the Scar? Oh, it doesn't seem like we can make it again. I'm guessing we don't have enough pieces for it. That thing sells for so much. Wait, what? Yeah, we can make more. Okay, so high grade handle, high grade. Ooh, that's why. All of it's high grade. I want to save one of each because I'm going to make my own high grade um, M60 one of these days. And I'm going to need all the ammo I can find. Okay. Guys, if you liked this episode, please like, share with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback. Leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Rebirth Insanity. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or check out the links in the description down below.